that look like a lot of items? Well, it is obviously. Um, just look at my inventory now. Look at it now. So, this is a piglin bartering farm. Pretty simple to build, actually. And today, we're gonna make one of these. So, what we're gonna do in this farm. So, how piglins work is that when you give them gold, um, like, so, if you go like this, they are, like, gonna barter with you. So when you give them gold, they, it takes 10 seconds for them to give you an item. And it's pretty random, obviously, of what they can give you. Like I have crying obsidian, string, obsidian, nether brick, blocks, quartz, and soul sand. Like that's pretty random, and they can come in crazy amounts too. But what we want from them is soul speed. So this is a pretty efficient way of getting soul speed. So if we go over here, this is basically the thing that runs this. So what happens is that when I flick this switch, they will want to aggro on me because they're mad because I'm like kind of messing with their gold or whatever. So if I take this black gold, trade it with them, and then give them the gold, they want to get the trading done as fast as they can so that they can go and attack me. So that's basically what they're doing right there. So. Obviously, look, we just got iron boots with soul speed 3. That's from one sack of gold. So, I hope we have a gold here because we're going to need one. And if you're wondering where my skin is, Minecraft broke it, so. <sighs> but, anyways, now I'm just Steve. But now I have these guys. Um, what we're going to want to do to build the farm is first get rid of this so we're gonna want all of this stuff pretty simple stuff actually so if we go over here how about um we to build the module we're gonna need um sticky piston redstone torch a block Obviously not like a redstone block or whatever. And then this. And then a uh, repeater on one tick. And then block, piece of redstone. And that will go forever. And this lever could either be put there, here. Doesn't really matter. Then we're going to want to put our another gold ore. Or gold ore. Probably doesn't matter. But now this goes and makes the piglins aggro on you so then over here could be any block but it doesn't matter um i take that the piglins and with one of them it's pretty fast but we want it as efficient as possible so we take our glass block whatever you want and then we put our piglins in here it's hard to get them in survival but you're just gonna have to figure that out i'm sorry but take our piglins them in here two three four bro you're gonna have to move this is the police the piglin police okay so um we could put get out of here. Gonna wanna put him in here. 
So that's a good amount, probably like 10 or something, probably like, you could probably do like 20, 20 is a good amount. So basically, you're done with the farm, and if you don't want to get killed in survival, you can just put Siggy Piss in right here, and so they won't murder you when they go and attack, or when you... Turn this on, and if you have gold armor, then you're good to so. sell. Get rid of this. Grab some gold. Um, I'm probably gonna make a gold farm sometime this week, so look out for that. So, well, all, all you do now, you just throw your gold. Well, actually, first you gotta turn it on. But obviously, don't forget to turn it on because I'm a mistake. And obviously, look at all these blocks. If you have enough gold, do it for a minute. You could get thousands of items. Like, look at all this. This is also a fast way to get ender pearls if you want to go to the end. So, you should. And this is how you make a simple farm. You don't need some fancy trading hall. Just this simple little circuit thing pushes the another gold door, makes them mad. To get the trade down as fast as possible, just quick, easy, efficient, pretty cheap. So, yeah, I hope you have all enjoyed and go get all of the items. And, yeah, fun making this farm, and see you guys next time.